Boom, 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 boom. Welcome back to this other video. Well, in the previous session, we talked about Reactum. We mentioned a couple features. We talked about a couple features. We talked about uh, React.render, React.hydrate. Definitely check it out. If you haven't seen, there is a link on the top right corner above. So make sure that you go and watch this video again. But today, we're going to actually start coding some React. And before we do that, we're going to go ahead and do a couple cleanups, okay? We're going to remove a couple files that we do, do not need. First of them, I'm going to go ahead and redelete the register service worker. I did a video about it. Check it out, guys. Highly recommend it. Uh, you will see it appear in a couple places here too, so make sure you remove it everywhere once you delete these files. And second things that I do not need for now, I don't need a test. And the other thing that we don't need is the local.svg. And the local.svg, we don't need that. And we're gonna go ahead and focus inside our app.js. This is where we are going to be focusing about. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete everything that you see here and start from scratch all right guys now i deleted everything first thing first we need to make sure that we import or uh, create react this is the first line it is required in order for you to do anything with react so make sure that you always have these lines of code this is very very critical in order for you to start working with react okay all right so once we have this now react component it's very very basic in order for us to do this we're just going to declare a function we're going to call this one heather and this one here we're going to do a couple of things down here but before we do this anything that you have a component base make sure that you export them as default now, once we have our function, AKA our component, we can write this down here for some of you that would like to know, this is called component. Now, once you have your component, we're gonna create a, 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 an HTML file. In order for us to do that, we're gonna make sure that we return it. We do react.create element. And this create element takes a couple argument. Uh, argument. The first one is the HTML element you'd like to create. I would like to create an H2 tag. And the second one takes an object. We can leave it empty for now, but the bottom line is this object can take as many attributes that you want your H2 to have. We're gonna go back to it in a second. Uh, the other thing that I want is what do you want inside your H2? In this one, I want something called Hello World. And ladies and gentlemen, we just create our first React component. If we head over to the website, we should see indeed something saying, hello world now once again uh, if i right click over this element and you see now there's nothing inside of it there's no attribute i can add different attribute i can add an id i can call this one test i can add different i can add different things i'm just not gonna keep it as an id and if we go back again refresh it we should now be able to see an id over that element called hello world Great, this is fantastic, this is awesome, this is really, really cool. What if I want another element? Well, if I want another element, I can go ahead, if I want another element inside of it. And now there's one thing I'd like to mention here. This is gonna get a little bit nasty, but bear with me guys, okay? So I'm gonna first create an element. I'm gonna create one, a div element, give it an object, which is an empty for now. And then in here, I'm gonna go ahead here. Oops, give me one quick second. All right, so here's what I just did. React create element, instead of me having the third one, I'm gonna have the third one as another create element. And that is getting to be a little bit messy. I totally understand you guys, but bear with me in a second. And then I'm gonna be creating my hello world here and my attribute, and I'm gonna say hello world. And order that, I'm gonna technically copy the same thing and create another element here. And I'm gonna call this one I'm gonna call this one actually the first one h1 and i'm gonna say uh welcome to my app trust me guys this is not the best way of writing react there is a better way and as you guys can see we now have a react application uh, like this that looks like that if we explore it there's a div there's an h2 tag and an, an h1 tag but this looks a little bit nasty this looks a little bit not 
what I was expected. Like for me to do React, that create React, uh, create element, and all these styles. Well, there is a better way to do things with React. And this thing that we're going to explore, it's actually going to be something called JSX. And see you guys in the next video where we're going to explore and see how we can change the same thing using something different called JSX.